Uh, those of you that attend the traditional Latin Mass, you recognize that the first half of this chapter is the last gospel, which read at the end of every Mass. And it teaches us many things, but two things in particular. The first is, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word, the Logos, is the eternal second person of the Trinity, the Son of God. And this shows us that the error of Arius, that the Word, that the Son of God was created or had a beginning, is false. The Word was with God in the very beginning, before even creation, and is co-eternal and consubstantial with the Father. Now, if you attend the traditional Latin Mass, you also know that when we get to verse 14, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, here we genuflect, we bend down to reverence that the Son of God, the eternal Son of God, the Logos, was incarnate in the womb of the Virgin Mary. And this is why we genuflect to the earth, because the Word of God, the Son of God, came to earth in the immaculate womb of the Virgin Mary. One more observation here, and that is how we see St. Andrew as the first evangelist. He goes and he finds his brother, Peter, and then we see a series of evangelization. We find Philip, and he goes and finds Nathaniel, and there's the dialogue there about the fig tree. Uh, so what we see here, and this is a great example for us during Advent, is when we encounter Jesus Christ, we go to other people, our brother, our friend, and say, I have found the Messiah. I have found the Son of God. Come and see. That's what they say. They say, come and see. What we have to do as Christians, as Catholics, is we've encountered Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we have to tell other people, come and see. Uh, one more interesting thing here is we find early on in the call of Simon that Christ says, thou shalt be called Cephas, which is interpreted Peter. It's way before, perhaps even a, a year and a half before the Matthew 16, you are Peter and on this rock I'll build my church. So from the very beginning of the calling of Simon, Christ our Lord says, you will be called Cephas, you will be Peter. It's an important teaching for for Catholics.